Auskunft? Gar nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Fertig machen! That's Lieutenant Bowen now. I'll get back to you boys, but Bowen's my major story. Excuse me. Five months in a prison camp. How come they're not sending you home? Yeah, well, they will when I'm finished. Anybody ever tell you never volunteer? Hey, come on. Let's go to the officer's club. The drinks are on me. Oh, come hey, on. boys. Colonel will wait for me. Let him report. Yeah, I, I, I'll report first, and then I'll see you guys over at the club, okay? Okay. Welcome home, Wally. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant, I'm Ken Shaw from the press pool. I'm supposed to do a feature on you, this special assignment you've been called back for. Oh, wait a minute, Ken. I better let the colonel see him first. I guess I fell asleep and had a dream. I hope I didn't do or say anything ridiculous. Well, you almost knocked me down. You've been trying to do that since you were nine years old. I wouldn't call that very unusual. 12 o'clock high. A QM production. Starring Paul Burt. Also starring Chris Robinson and Frank Overton. With guest stars Robert Drivers, Paul Carr, Marion Thompson. Tonight's episode. The Hollow Man. Wally, I've passed out a lot of promotions, but none of them have made me any happier. Tell you the truth, sir, I forgot I was due for. <laughs> Congratulations, Captain. It's official. Thank you, sir. Here's a couple of souvenirs for you. Okay. How about Batterheim? Well, I know you've been interrogated. But when I heard that you were back among us, I wanted some additional information. However, I want you to understand one thing. I wanted an interview for information. That's all. Not for you to fly. Oh, I, I know, sir. You see, when I was shot down, I was on my 16th mission. That leaves me nine to go. I want to stay here. And I want to complete them. Your request has been approved. I doubt that you're going to be ready to fly the Batterheim raid, Wally. Well, after all, it's been five months since you have jockeyed a B-17. You try me, sir. Okay, I'll think about it. Meanwhile, I've called the staff meeting for 1600 in the briefing hut. We're going to pick your brain a bit. I'll be there. Good. Well, I don't want to keep you any longer. I understand there's a party in your honor at the officers club. Again, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Bitte. 
Ich will Auskunft haben. Rufen Sie einen Doktor. Einen Ehrendoktor. Wieso? Auskunft! Ich kann nicht sagen, weil ich nicht weiß. Ich weiß nichts. Auskunft! Oh, ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. I can't tell you anything because I don't know anything. Ich weiß nicht. I don't. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. I can't tell you anything because I don't know anything. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Sergeant, now. Oh, I just. I look after my helpless hometown buddies, that's all. Why don't you go on over there waiting for you? But, uh, I, I don't want to mix it up with the guys just, just now, do you know? Well, it's not just the guys, Walt. I think Ruthie's going to be there. Ruthie? Wally? Yeah. Wally Bowling? Oh, there you are. Come on, Wally, the party's on. Uh, what are you doing here with the non commissioned riffraff? Come on. You better watch how you treat him. He outranks you now. Yeah? Captain. <laughs> hey, Riff Raff. If you want to come, you're invited. You understand? The officers club? I let it ruin my reputation, sir. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I saw her in the canteen, I knew I'd seen her someplace before. And now this proves what she wouldn't admit. Hey, that is you, isn't it? This is a picture. This is me. But there hasn't been a face like that since Helen of Troy. Oh. Hey, fellas, here he is. She waited for you, Wally. Always said you'd come back. Well, I, I guess I did. <laughs> Have that drink. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Johnny, we're better headline material than he is. We're better looking. Let the kid have his moment. And wait till this outfit gets a load of what a couple of ex-fighter jocks can do with their big old birds. Be out of it completely. The only problem is we're going to have to wait for the weather to clear over Western Germany before we can mount the raid. Meanwhile, we're going to practice it once or twice. Are there any questions before I dismiss the staff? Major? In hut! Yes, Mist. Captain, would you stay a minute? Harvey, would you send in Stuart and Lewis? Yes, sir. All right, this will be fine. You can drop this off at my office, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Sir, you haven't said whether I could fly the mission or not yet. But before I make you one of the pilots, I'm going to have to take a turn with you upstairs. Well, I'll go check with the doctor. Uh, have him certify me for it. All right, well, you're going to have to have that anyway, but I want you to realize one thing. 
The main reason you're here is to mark that target. Mark it so we don't miss it again. Captains Lewis and Stewart reporting, sir. Captain? Captain Bowen, Captain Stewart, Captain Lewis. How you do? Lewis and Stewart recently completed a tour as fighters, P-47s. Now they've signed over to join us for a tour. They've already had three missions. Well, isn't that something new? As far as I know, it's a first. You two men were on the Batterheim raid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The plant that we obliterated was a phony. It was a great job of camouflage, but the real synthetic oil plant still stands. As a matter of fact, every group in the wing missed it. Captain Boland here knows exactly where it is and how it's hidden. Yeah, I... The, the prison camp that I escaped from uh, was about three miles from Batterheim. A Frenchman, uh, forced labor, they, uh, they hid me in the village for about a week. And we're going to go back there again just as soon as we can. First, the three-plane Pathfinder element will go in low, very low. Mark the target with incendiaries, and the rest of the group will come in and bomb from altitude. And where to fly the low stuff? Right. Well, I believe your fighter experience well qualifies you two. You two and one other pilot. Captain Bolin here will uh, identify the target for you so you can mark it. Who's going to be the other pilot, sir? I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. I, uh, I may fly it myself. As ever. Better, Colonel. That's all I did over there. I flew every place, every place I'd ever been. Sure, I'd sit in the prison compound and I'd take off and I'd land. I smelled it. I named every part of the airplane every day. Los, los, ich habe es eilig. Ich brauche beat everything out of me. The only part they never got to is the fact that I'm a pilot. I was. I am a pilot. Actually, this is the only area you'll have to concern yourself with today. Make your minimum altitude over the simulated target area is 1,200 feet. Take your time, work for coordination. We've got all day, Captain. So good luck. Thank you, Colonel. Excuse me, sir. Yo. Colonel, have we done something wrong? Not that I know of. Unless you think it was wrong to join the bombers. Well, we've both logged more flying time than Lieutenant Bolin. Uh, Captain Bolin. That's another thing, sir. Actually, we both have a rank. Yeah, perhaps you do, but as far as heavy bombers are concerned, he cannot fly you two. Is that why you made him flight leader instead of one of us? He wouldn't have to be commanding to designate the target. Gentlemen, he has had four times the experience you've had in B-17s. That's why he's commanding. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, you take off in 15 minutes. Have the next two pilots with low altitude time stand by. Are Lewis and Stewart giving you some trouble? I don't know. It's probably just their fighter jockey attitude. They're a bit aggressive. The time is short, and if this practice mission doesn't run smoothly, I want to have some backup. That's right. I'm waiting over the field. Where are you guys? This is pretty sloppy assembly. Mock up two, come in. Mock up two to mock up leader. I'm behind you at 4,200 feet. Closing in now. Over. 
Mark up, leader, Roger. Mark up three, where are you? Over. Is mark up three to leader? I'm back here with mark up two on heading 245 magnetic and coming to join you. My altimeter may be off a little bit. Over. If this were a group assembly, we'd be almost a minute late getting into position at this rate. I know you guys can do better. We're coming, Captain. You guys want to give me a hard time? Save it for later. See where they are. Yes, sir. Top turret to pilot. Captain Lewis is coming up on your right, sir. Captain Stewart's a little bit behind. to mark up two. Close up now. Close up, nice and tight. How much tighter do you want it? Put your left wing in here where I can sit on it. You too, Stuart. Close it up now. Wooly, watch it. Mark up three is right on top of us. Stuart, what are you doing? Hey, Stuart, not that tight, baby. How close am I? Where is he? Ich habe es heilig. Ich brauche Auskunft. 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 Hey, what the fuck are you turning in on me? Drop your nose, Willie. Drop your nose. Break! Both of you, break! isn't broken. I know, sir. It's just sprain. How are they? Uh, Nielsen hasn't come to yet. Captain Bolton's all right. He's still sleeping. Does he know what happened? Oh, well, I told him all I knew, sir. How about the fellows who bailed out? We found your co-pilot's body and the chute didn't open. The rest of them were all accounted for. And Stewart, he uh, died with the rest of his crew. Oh, we figured that out. Sandy, you were in the turret when this happened, Bitte. right? Bitte. Bitte. Bolden. I have a schmerz. A doctor, bitte. Bolin. 
Captain Bowman. Why, I thought I was someplace else. I know. The German prison camp, huh? I had some information about future targets. Anyway, that's what they said. Actually, I think it amused them to whack me around. They used to spell my name with an H. B-O-H-L-E-N. B-O-H-L-E-N. German. I don't know how they knew that, but they did. And they never, ever spoke English. Why did you send him up there with me? Wally, you better get back in bed. Get some rest. We'll talk about it later. No, I think we better talk about it now. Not behind my back, but now we'll talk about it. Come on, Wally, get back. Sending me up there like that, playing tag, huh? He's off, Wally. Come on, Wally. Wally, come on, get in bed. Wally, get Wally. Wally, get him in here. I want Stuart in here. Get Stuart in here. Watch I'll get a doctor. Wally. Stuart, you stupid rotten fool. Wally. Was it Stuart's fault? I told you what happened, sir. We all saw it coming. You saw it coming? You did the natural thing. You ducked. But you told Captain Bowen to put his nose down. Yes, sir. Well, why did you have to? Why wasn't he already doing it? And why, why did he allow things to get so close? So you asked Captain Lewis that? I did. And he confirms that Stuart was out of position. But he claims that Bowler never made a move until your airplane hit his. Then he banked away. Look, Sandy, it seems to me there was enough time to avoid what happened. Are you blaming Wally, sir? Maybe Lieutenant Nielsen can give us some details on what happened. Well, you are blaming Wally, aren't you, sir? I don't want to, Sandy. If I do, I'm automatically blaming myself because I gave him command. So the medic certified him to fly. Yes, they did. Sandy, there's something obviously wrong with Wally now. What about the other day when I questioned you about him? Was there something wrong with him then? Were you holding back something? With the hit, Nielsen, Nielsen is told. Nielsen, my friend, Nielsen is told. Doctor, this way, quickly. Doctor, rufen Sie einen Doktor. Doctor, Nielsen is told. Nielsen is told. Wally. Nielsen is told. Wally, come on. I sprechen Sie Amerikaner. Sprechen Sie Englisch. Nielsen ist tot. Nielsen ist tot. Sprechen Sie Englisch. Does anybody here speak English? Yes, well, I realize that, Doc. But what I'm trying to do is fill in a gap between what they saw and what they remember. Boland claims it was Stuart's fault, but uh, the whole situation is cloudy. Well, I certified him to fly. There wasn't apparently anything wrong at the time. There may not be anything now, except shock. That's what the situation seems to be. The question is, did the condition cause the accident, or did the accident cause the condition? Let's see. Excuse me, Doctor. They're ready with Lieutenant Nielsen in surgery. You uh, want to call in a psychiatrist? In other words, you don't know. I'm only a surgeon. Okay, Doc. Better go in and save Lieutenant Nielsen if you can. Danke, Fräulein. Stop that, Walter. This is not Germany. I'm no Fräulein. Look at me. 
You know me, look. You're beautiful. I, I was reaching too high. That's what was always wrong. Oh, there was never anything wrong. There is now. I'm... hollow. No. I, I just wanted to go back over there and taste them a couple of times, that's all. You volunteered to fly again, Wally. It made me proud. Could have done it. No hollow man could feel what you feel now for the boys who died today. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away from me. You face nicht. Dishonor the memory of this, this Captain Stewart. But there was competitive feeling between the two ex fighter pilots in Bolin. No, but if the old man in Archbury dies, it seems pretty apparent that it could be blamed on the guy who caused the accident. That's right, Stewart. Be careful what you say about Wally Bolin. He's my hero. Right, Jack. Good. I'll, uh, I'll handle everything from here. So long. Uh, my chief wants me to handle this alone. It'll keep the public press off your back. Good. But don't make any statements, Ken, until we have all the facts. Well, I did release the lead story on Boland's return. I can't kill that now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Joe, the vicar called from Archbury. He'd like to talk to you about the crash. Uh, let me handle that for you, Colonel. Oh, would you? Well, thank you very much. I'll follow it up later on. Wing operations called. Weather's clearing over Germany. We're elated for Batterheim, probably tomorrow. Okay, then get me all the photographs we have on Batterheim. Strike photos, reconnaissance, etc. I'll go over and see Captain Boland. Somehow try to have him mark that target for us. I relaxed. Can I see you a minute? Yes, sir. Forget this, sir. Okay. Writing a letter, huh? No, I was making out my report. I understand you and Captain Bolin are lifelong buddies. We grew up in Oakland together. I guess you'd say we were good friends. Meet each other over here, it may seem like one of us. I grew up with Bobby Stewart all my life. Well, that makes it tough. Yeah, it makes it tough. Kamansky, what really makes it tough is that everybody is trying to throw the blame into Stewart's lap. Now, just what kind of conversation is this going to be, huh? Bolin crabbed right into me. Now, you want me to help you throw the blame into Wally's lap, is that it? All your man had to do was dive. All your buddy had to do was fly, and he had the whole sky to do it. All right, Sergeant, that's enough. The man or from the captain. I thought you said leave this sir uh, out of it. And I thought we could talk about this without a lot of crocodile tears about hotshot Charlie Bolin.
it's uh, it's either here or here. Huh? Yeah, well, I, I know there are a lot of trees, but um, we see, sir, this picture was taken from 20,000 feet. It's uh, not like being there. Yes, I understand. Okay. Oh, Wally, I'm going to fly the Pathfinder alone tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll use the information you've just given me to uh, mark the target. Well, why can't I go with you? You tested me. You, you trusted me before. Wally, you're in no condition. The doctors wouldn't permit it. I'm all right. You're not kidding me. I know. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I thought... It's all right, Captain. We're just through with our business. Uh, sir, uh, before you listen to him, I, I want you to listen to me. Uh... I, I, I want to go on that flight. I told you before, I'm a pilot. That's all I have left. Wally, Captain Lewis just came in to visit you, that's all. Wally, what are you afraid of? Come on, Lewis, what's your excuse? Colonel, I did want to... Speak to Captain Bolin about it. Stuart made a mistake. He was out of position. He flew right into me! I think Bolin could have gotten out of his way. I think Bolin froze. I did not freeze. I told him to break away. I did not freeze. Oh, I know that voice. Oh, I've heard it a thousand times. I've lived with it. I pay no attention. I did not freeze. I did not freeze. I did not freeze. I did not freeze. Ich will Auskunft haben. over to Major Larson. Captain Lewis will move into my slot and fly Lee to the target area. Okay, radio silence now until we're there. Good luck. Ram right out.
Flight engineer, all gunners. Clear your guns. How's the foot, Sandy? Fine, sir. Just don't ask me to kick anybody. Pilot to crew. Okay, we're on our own now. Our incendiary load is very light. So we'll have extra fuel to take a lot of evasive action on the way home. But going over, I'm going to fly as low as possible. Minimize their flak and make it hard for their fighters. It's important that we mark that target right or wrong. So if anybody has to fire at anything, make it count. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. Roger, Skipper. Bob, hand me that target photo, will you? There you go. And take it. Right. Skipper, I guess there's not much chance of turning back now, is there? Turning back? Who said that? Right waist to pilot. Wasn't the way, sir. Now, who was it? took off. There's nobody back there now. I took his place. Captain Fowler, go back and take over that left waist gun. Send that gunner back to the tail. I'll fly the airplane. I, I know I can find the target if I'm there, Colonel. The right one. this straight. I don't want to hear one unnecessary word from anybody in this airplane. Is that clear? Oh, no, nobody need worry. And I certainly don't want anybody sore at me. I just want to help, that's all. I know that you wouldn't give me the chance before, so I had to make it. Listen, Skipper. I said knock it off.
into formation. I've just spotted the skipper square. Three degrees to the left. Bombs away. some help. No way you can change it. <laughs> Besides, I've already had myself transferred to the London canteen. I wouldn't argue with her, Captain. Okay. Uh, I'd like to say goodbye to the Colonel if I could. Come in. I, I just came by to say so long. Uh, I'm going to turn myself over to a Red Cross girl and a bunch of London brain menders. One thing you'll be happy about, uh, I won't be volunteering for any more combat missions. Are you going to make it, Wally? You got us home, so I know you're going to make it. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Come on, I'll hobble up with you. Yes, sir. Well, Batterheim is finished. Yes, I can swear to that. I better go and figure out an ending to this story and get it filed. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is mostly the story of Captain Bowen, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll give you an ending for it. He was a pilot. Just say that. He, he was a pilot. Thanks, Colonel. 